Hello, welcome to Inner Peace Sunday. It is our uh, it is our uh, <coughs> my bad. It is our Inner Peace time again on this weekend, where you can find Inner Peace and start your new week with Inner Peace together. And I hope you enjoy your practice meditation regularly. So, how are you, everyone? Have you been practice meditation regularly? Well, <coughs> if you are, don't forget to tell you to tell me your name, your local time, and the place where you watch this broadcasting from. And as for those who are new, you may, li- you may leave your name on the comment on the screen as follow. So, <coughs> oh wait, I think, yes. So stay tuned too, after our meditation together. So if you are new, don't worry. After the session, there will be the wisdom to share. And also, if you are also first time, don't know how to meditate, I will give you a proper and short introduction how to meditate for what we're doing in our Inner Peace Sunday. But if you have already learned and like to practice on your own, your method, I mean, but like to meditate with us together on our life, you're also welcome to join us too. So what we practice in here is called the Middle Way Meditation. And <coughs> the Middle Way Meditation is simple and is suitable and open for everyone who is interested to practice meditation. And don't worry, if you are new, you are also welcome. And if you, are get, uh, if you don't mind, also please leave me your name, your local time, and the place, so that way I can get to know and remember you. Let me, uh, before I begin with our introduction of meditation, so please allow me a few minutes of our time together to greeting everyone who has joined here tonight. And today, depend on your time. Let's see. <coughs> Miss April, good to see you. And Samantha, there you are, you are back. Hopefully you enjoy our meditation. And you too, Andy, how are you? I haven't seen you in a while and also hope you are doing well with your new house. And maybe you may want to send me some personal texts while you are moving out. It's quite interesting to understand, to know about that. Also, Mr. Shi, good to see you. And Miss Jessie, well, hopefully, uh, you are using to falling down the cliff, right? Miss Mika, good to see you too. And Janice, good to see you too. Hello, Sharon. All right. Hope it's too cold. Is it cold over there yet? Snow yet? Hopefully, it's uh, all doing okay in Canada over there. And Mr. Kuma, good to see you too. Hello, Miss Hong. Good to see you. Well, your group was very nice. They came uh, to our Inner Peace uh, retreat. Uh, a day, so they were nice and well a little bit of misunderstanding at the beginning, but well they are doing fine, uh, and Quang was enjoy his uh, time with them too. So please come back again. Hello, Miss Angel, Mr. Uh, Mr. I'm not sure, but welcome to our Inner Peace Sunday. I believe this is our first time meeting you. Hopefully you enjoy our Inner Peace time with us tonight. And um, well, <coughs> while we are waiting and starting in about 10 minutes from now. Maybe if you're already a regular, you can uh, just getting yourself ready. For those who are new, just allow me a few minutes of our time together to introduce how to meditate. What we practice in our Inner Peace Sunday, Inner Peace Sunday is called the Middle Way Meditation. The Middle Way Meditation, just like any other meditation, which aim is to bring back our mind, our awareness, back inside our body or our self. And in order to maintain that, we need to uh, some kind of method to help maintain the mind. The commonly practiced around the world are uh, they call breathing meditation. Of course, that also can be applied for the middle way meditation. The only, the only difference is where they focus the mind. So breathing, as the name implies, is focusing on breathing in and breathing out. Here for the middle way meditation, we focus at the place called center of the body as you may see on the screen here. The center of the body is located inside ourself, around our abdomen. <coughs> it is considered as the home for our mind. So if you are wandering, for example, you may be looking at me, watching me, listening to me in front of the screen, but you may, may be wandering outside somewhere else, for example, at your family, your friends, your parents, your loved one. It doesn't matter where it is, but once you realize that you are sitting here with me, the mind comes back to your body already. So that's, that is where the mind is going to stay. But once it stays inside, when you realize yourself, 
the problem is you have to keep and maintain it inside your body. And how? Well, for the middle way meditation, we practice by using two methods. One is called visualization. Visualization we are visualize here is um, well, you can see here, visualize something simple that doesn't make you think or create emotion inside your stomach. And when you're doing so, yes, you must not use something that would create thought or emotion. Otherwise, it's going to be quite difficult for you to, uh, you know, to <coughs> focus. So choose something simple, something that I would recommend, something like this, like the sun, the moon, or the star. And as you can see here, choose only one though, okay? Do not switch them around either, because when you are choosing them around, it will make you think. Therefore, choose something that neutral for you. I would recommend in this case, I use the sun. However, when you have thoughts, which is common in meditation, you may use the second method that can help, which is called mantra, okay? The mantra you may see on the screen here is pronounced like this. Sama Arahang <coughs> Sama Arahang Sama Arahang Continue just like this. Repeat it over and over until no more thoughts. This, but you don't, do not need to say it out loud. Just repeat them inside your own mind. The thing about that is the mantra we use in here, it is a method to help you calm whenever the thought arises. But don't worry about the thoughts though, because if you do it correctly, you would not, it would not bother you. But the thing that you have to do maintain in your meditation is two things. One, make, thing your ba make sure your body and mind are relaxed. How do you know if your mind and body are relaxed? Check yourself first, your body. When you are comfortable and relaxed, you would feel like you don't want to move. So that is kind of like assuring that you are relaxed. Second, when <coughs> for the mind, when your mind is relaxed, it's just like when you go into a movie theater or watching something on the screen. You're just watching them, seeing what is coming. No need to worry what is going to come. Just enjoy watching. Meditation is like that. When you close your eyes, the only thing at the moment when you're starting, you're going to see is darkness, nothing else. So in this case, do not try to look, do not struggle to see what it is. Just enjoy whatever show on the screen, and you will be just fine. However, one more thing that also requires besides relaxation on body and mind, is called, yes, your mindfulness. When you are practicing meditation, mindfulness is also a part of the reason that making yourself stay inside your body. When your mind are wandering, once you realize, mindfulness come back. Therefore, keep it stay there. If you relax too much, you fall asleep. But if you're trying too hard, your body cannot relax. You would feel uh, frozen. It's like you're hitting the wall, you cannot move, you cannot breathe. You don't want to move, but you struggle on inside yourself. In this case, this kind of feeling are not need for meditation. So make yourself be relaxed and comfortable. Enjoy what's to come. That is how we practice. And in case you wonder, if you have trouble with the mantra, let's go over that again. Mantra is <coughs> Samma Arahang. It is an own ancient India language, which means the path to purity and freedom from the negative thought. To be, slight, uh, to be precise, mantra I am uh, uh, announcing to you here, it is a loosely translation, not a direct translation. Repeat, not a repeat, not a direct translation. To make it easier and wider understand, because some uh, direct translation is mean right or correct, but loosely translate is mean absolutely clean and clear and right. So it's kind of like purity or purify. So if you're using this slowly bit by bit, 
the mantra it will eventually purify your mind calm down yourself purify how when the mind becomes still it is purified itself so that is what we do for our middle way meditation and so by this this is how we're going to practice in our inner peace sunday program however you if you feel that mm, i rather use my own technique no problem feel free to just make your body and mind relax and also with mindfulness okay so that is what we're gonna do however we still have three more minutes before we begin our inner peace time so i would like to ask to check yourself three things before we begin for those who are new you may leave the comment name local time and place so that way i know who you are and where you're from and get to know you better next time <coughs> let's see why we are waiting ah miss karen good to see you welcome back i remember you now Hopefully you enjoy your practice meditation regularly. You're from Malaysia, right? Well, good to see you too. Miss Julie, good to see you. Hopefully, well, so too bad you came join us late on um, uh, Wednesday. And I checked myself too, I was in a mistake because I started too early. I, miss, I, I confused with the time. So hopefully I started uh, again uh, with the correct time next week. Now, what we need to do is first, if you need to call someone, do it now. If you don't, put it in, in silent mode or turn it off. So that way, we can keep our inner peace time in silent. Second, do you need to use toilet? Do it now. Because when you use toilet, then you have to go. You know, you have to go. You cannot hold on into meditation. And you don't want it to disturb your inner peace, right? So do it now while you still have time. And last but not least, <coughs> is your room peaceful and quiet for meditation. If it is, good, you are ready. Leave the comment as follow, just like Mr. Xi and Diane have just leave it now. Uh, if it's not, you may want to keep your room tidy and clean for next time, for this time too. Why? Because when the room is nice, clean, open your eye and close your eye, you have a comfortable feeling ready for you already. When the environment is ready, the mind can be also adjust quite easily too. So, when you practice meditation, these three are helping yourself to be ready. And <coughs> we shall now begin our inner peace time. So everyone, are you ready? Leave me the comment. Hello, Miss Erede. Good to see you. Hopefully it's not too cold in Mongolia. And let's see. Ah, Mika, you're ready? Well, if everyone is ready, we shall now begin our inner peace time. So you will not see me until the end of our session, but you still can hear my voice. So please enjoy our scenery of inner peace. If the music, the sound is too low, leave the comment so that way I know. At the moment, I can only see the picture. I cannot hear the sound. So if you can help me, leave me the comment while you uh, before you begin. That will be good. All right, let's begin our inner peace time, everyone. <coughs> Let's begin our meditation. <coughs> Close your eyes. Relax your mind and body. Adjusting yourself, sitting in a relaxed and comfortable position where you won't feel any tension on your body. Relax very truly. Begin from the top of your head. Relax down to your forehead. Relax your eyebrows and loose your eyelids. Adjusting yourself, sitting very comfortably 
on a share are so far. Relax until you feel at ease, allowing the blood to circulate freely. Relax both of your arms down to your hands. Continue further down to your legs, your knees, and all the way to your feet completely. Making your whole body feeling most comfortable in your meditation. When you are done, adjust your body. Let's move on to adjust your mind. <coughs> Next. Take a deep breath, breathing freely until you feel the air pass through your lungs, reaching the middle of your abdomen, and slowly breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out for a few times. With each breath in, imagine that each cell in the entire body is full of happiness and joy. With each breath out, be, breathe out all your worries and negative feelings. Let go of all your responsibilities that relate to work, family, studies, or anything else. Let everything go. Let your mind be joyful and simply relax. Relaxing the muscles around the corners of your eyes. Relaxing the muscles in your face. Continue to relax. Allow your mind to be joyful, cheerful, clear, pure, and bright. Releasing and letting everything go. Emptying your mind clear and free from our thoughts. Imagine that you are alone in a vast open space full of freedom and peace. Continuing to let go and allow the mind to rest softly inside yourself at the center or the middle of your abdomen. If you are new to meditation, don't worry about the exact location of the center 
of your body. Simply maintain a soft awareness gently within, touching the center softly and gently, like a feather floating down slowly moving down and touch the surface of water. Feeling the shining, the shining sun inside yourself or the moon if you like. Feeling the sun softly at the center and allow the light, the stillness to grow. If you are losing your focus or starting to have many thoughts, you may recite a mantra to keep the mind focused. Repeat the mantra softly as if the sound were coming from your center inside your own mind. And the mantra is Samma Arahang Samma Arahang Samma Arahang Samma means purity Arahang means freedom from all negative things. As the mind becomes stiller and stiller, the mantra will slow down and fade away by itself. Continue to feel the calm relaxation be neutral with any experience. Soon, your mind will be completely focused, pure, still, like nothingness. So spend our time finding ourselves inner peace for a few moments until the appropriate time.
center out to everyone in the room to your families and friends to all the people in the home building in the home city in the home country and the home world Sharing loving kindness with them all, a feeling for them to be happier, the mind full of loving kindness will discover the way to work with others meaningfully, gently, happily. Resolving whatever problems may arise, let there be peace on earth. Let there be world peace through inner peace. Spend these few moment. Spread your loving kindness for a little while.
Ada di Pra. Slowly breathing it out. Stay still inside yourself. Maintain your relaxation, both body and mind. Stay relaxed as long as you can and continue on after the meditation. So this way you may maintain your awareness within yourself. And then slowly, gently open your eyes Welcome back, everyone. How are you feeling? I hope you enjoy your inner peace time with me. So please allow me <coughs> to check your meditation experience. Excuse me, my rope just coming off, not dressing properly. Hopefully, <coughs> it's all right. My, all right, I'm good. Okay, good. Well, <coughs> how is your meditation? So those who are new to meditations, you may leave the comment as follow. If you are regular, you may leave the comment now. For those who are relaxed, leave the comment as one. Those who feeling so much relaxed, like your body disappear or transparent. For a few moments of time, it's good. Leave the comment as two. For those who experience brightness inside yourself, even though you close your eyes, you only see darkness, but there is inner light coming in. Leave the comment as three. Anything else beyond what I mentioned, leave the comment as uh, four and explain. Once I saw your comment on our page, I will get back. Let's see who has uh, leave the comment now. Hello, Sharon. It's one. It's been a long time. I haven't seen you from Phuket. Hopefully, you are doing well and practice meditation regularly. Let's see who has leaving uh, <coughs> leaving our comment. Miss Sharon, three. Wow, that's a good progress, Miss Sharon. Very good. Mr. Shi, one. Diane, three. Time went by very fast. Mr. Andy, that's very good. One. Mr. Kuma, beautiful and peaceful, joyful. Three. Wow. Two for Mr. Edwin. All right. Two and sometimes three, just a moment. That's not bad. Miss Stu, one. Hmm. Wow. You know how to do meditation greatly. The thing is that the trick about meditation is you have to observe in every moment of yourself. And by observing, it acts as mindfulness in itself. So practice like this regularly, even when you are close your eyes or open your eyes, your mind will not be farther away from where you focus inside yourself. So practice like this. And to keep it stable, you have to maintain your relaxation. So whatever that may, may be interfere with your meditation, I mean with your relaxed feeling, try to avoid or do not confront. Otherwise, you will lose your uh, feeling of peace. Be it is when you are experiencing further and further like this all the time. When you close your eyes again, you will focus very greatly. Anyone else? Let's see. <coughs> Miss Nicole, three, four, brief moment. Not bad, not bad. <coughs> That's very good. Miss Eriday, two. Samantha, two and three. Lovely meditation. Thank you. Kathy, uh, Liquist, one. All right. Miss Nugent, three. Tina, wife from UK, 1.858. I have answered in need peace. <laughs> well, <coughs> when you are practice meditation, when you feel peace, you will want more. That's good. It's a good sign that you have done it correctly. And one more thing I'd like to say, welcome to inner peace 
Sunday for those who are joining and watching us on 21 day page. Welcome very much and have, it's my honor to host you here and we hope we're going to have inner peace time together. If you don't mind, we still have a moment to share his wisdom, so do not leave just yet. Now, as for our inner peace time, let's see anyone else before I go on. Miss Hong, three. Wow, Miss Hong, that's really good. Well, if you have like this, your business will be very good when you are happy. It attracts good things, you know, according to my master. If you are happy, it attracts good things to your life. If you are negative, it would also attract negative things. So keep your mind happy and bright. You will find happiness everywhere you go. Miss Tina, white, one, all right. When you are able to relax like this, do not attach to your meditation experience. I repeat, it's just an out product that you came when you do it correctly. So whatever that you do that, keep, that make yourself experience like this, stuck with that, I mean, stick with that. Because that is gonna work, that is where you gonna is gonna take you to where it is again. Everyone is not the same, so you do not, do not compare yourself with others. Because everyone that join here have ref different things in their life, so what they experience also diff uh, different. So that's causing us to doesn't have the same experience every time. But as long as you are finding relaxation in your meditation. That is a good, and if you feel like you want to continue more and more, that is a, that is a sign that you do it correct. So keep practice, everyone. Practice make perfect, and it never hurt yourself. And one more thing, I like to in inform you that no one die from meditation. So keep practice, everyone. Now, <coughs> before <coughs> oh, Miss Jessie, you have oh, relax for a short time. All right, that's good. Even ju just a short time, that means you have done it correct. So try to increase more practice, and it will keep in, it will increase the length of your relaxation time. Okay. <coughs> oh, we have one more question before I begin. What to do when we feel sad during session? One more thing that trap many meditators is they forgot their role. What I try to say is that when you are practice meditation, your role is to be observer. You are not a director. Whatever experience that comes, whether it's sad, joy, or peace, your duty is to just observe and do not continue. When it's come, it's come. Observe. When it's over, that's it. But most of us, when we see it, we keep repeating into the loop, keep rewinding them, start it over, start it over. We never get out of that loop. So that's it never progress. So when you s understand your role as an observer, when it's come, be natural. Whether it's joy or happy, you like it, you see the light, you experience peace and relax, just observe. Be natural. If you're too happy, yeah, it's coming, it's coming, it's gone. That's how it is. If you are too sad, oh, it's gone again. It won't come. So that's giving rise to expectation. That's not a good sign. So keep maintain. So the trick is stay with your happy feeling. <coughs> if you feel relaxed, try to keep it. When is whatever come that make yourself unhappy, be natural. Oh, it's all in the past. At the moment, I am still, still relax, relax. This is how we do. Meditation, keep yourself at peace. And when you're at peace, that is a sign you do it correct. Okay? So hope you are keep practicing, but remember, no one can finish or get it by the first time. So meditation required to practice every day. So good luck with that. And let's go on with our inner peace. All right, Miss Janice, too. That's a good sign that you are doing correctly. And here, today I have prepared you tying your mind within yourself. <coughs> what is tying your mind within yourself? The thing about that is, whenever we encounter, uh, my bad, whenever we are encounter things in our life, as long as we tie our mind outside ourselves, we would never find true happiness. The thing is, whatever we thinking of, money, place, friend, people, my, I mean, our mind is at attached and tied to that thing. So that's when we are 
attached to such a thing, we could never find ourselves still. That happiness, a true happiness that really come, may never experience at all. So therefore, as long as we tie our mind that in, uh, in the wrong place, which is outside our body, we would never find happiness. The thing is, what is the wrong place? Because the most suffering in life that we experience right now, whether our loved one parting from us, or we are, part, we are forced to part something that we like very much, or what we have is not really what we expect it to be, because we tying our mind and attach it to that. Therefore, we could never find happiness. The question is, what is the wrong place? Well, the wrong place are this. Possession, wealth, fame, and people. These things are good when you acquire them, but they're not good when you lost them. But we are trying and struggle to gain all of this. But remember, even though if we gain them, it's only temporary. Once we are used or get bored with it, we are not happy. We just be neutral or peace with it. But when we are losing it, we are just only suffer with that. So tying our mind with such things are not really, really going to help us anywhere. But of course, we are used to this so much. What should we do? Well, the trick is remember one thing. I like to live with this. It is the last word of the Buddha. It's quite interesting, though. He said, he don't say anything else. He said, all great things are impermanent. Strive diligently. <coughs> it's a riddle, isn't it? All created things are impermanent. Strive diligently. That's all he said before he part. That is his last word. What does it mean, though? All things are created. All created things are impermanent. Everything that we have is all impermanent. So strive on diligently. That's what he said. Diligent what? Leaving yourself with awareness, tying your mind within yourself. That's what he meant. Whatever tie our mind with, if it's outside, it will follow wherever it goes. If we tie our mind to someone, if that person go anywhere, our mind follow that person. It would never be with us, and thus we are never satisfied and truly happy. But if we tie our mind inside ourselves, you will find ourselves loving yourself more. <coughs> because the one who stays with you most is yourself, no one else. So if you tie your mind and love yourself, you will be always be happy. So that's remember this part. <coughs> if you are unhappy, you have to encourage yourself because you are the only one who stays with you most. Encouragement or moral support can be found from others. But the strength of your mind, you must find it yourself. And the only way to do that is meditation. Maintain your mind within yourself. Keep your comfortable and relaxed feeling at all times. If you have a good experience, you will love, you have a feeling that you want to have this experience with you all the time. And that is how we can tie our mind within ourselves. So now it is time for our parting again, everyone. I hope you enjoy practice of meditation regularly. And <coughs> thank you very much for joining, whether you are new or those from 21 Day Page. Hope to see you again on our next Inner Peace Sunday on next Sunday. And if you have time, especially for those who are living in the United States, we have a pro another program, more intense in meditation, called Inner Peace Online Club. But this club, you must be joining in the group. Only then you can view us. If you're interested, you can send the requirement, uh, you can send the request. When I saw your name, I will add you into the group. And joining us on our Inner Peace uh, online club on Wednesday night, 8.30 Central Time. Thank you very much for joining our Inner Peace and hope to see you again next Sunday. Don't forget to like and share.